Okay, so in my Bible, it um, I have um, a quest Bible, and um, it's a, a full study guide Bible. So it has questions on the margins of the bi of the of the pages to correspond with the chapters of the of what I'm reading and the verses. So, like in chapter two. Um, it says, why did God rest? And there's an answer for that question. Not because he was tired, an all-powerful God does not need rest. Perhaps he ceased working in order to mark a division between work of creation and his later ongoing work in the world. Whatever the reason, it is clear that he molded a pattern a, he modeled a pattern he wanted people to follow that they would rest one day in seven days setting apart a holy day for the Lord so it has different answers and one of the ones that I want to, to talk to you about was um, um, there's a question here and it's a little bit longer I, I don't know what they're called but it's a question right here um, that um, God ants or the Bible, this like the people who wrote this quest Bible um, sought to answer it, and it's a lot of scholars, so um, these answers come, they're pretty reliable. So, why didn't Adam and Eve, why aren't Adam and Eve created at the same time? God Himself said it was not good for man to be alone. While the animals and other creatures had been created in pairs, the Lord allowed Adam to come to self-realization that he needed fellowship, friendship, and intimacy from a creator corresponding to himself. Thus, God made him a helper. This does not mean that women are inferior to men or that they are designed merely to be assistants to men. The word helper may more accurately mean strength or power, and thus women correspond to men. Often God himself is designed by the term helper or strength. De designated? Often God himself is designated by the term helper or strength. For example, Psalms 33:20. God therefore made women for the man as his partner in life. She was taken from one of the man's ribs, probably to show an interdependence. She was dependent on men, and men are dependent upon women to give birth to them. Some observed that some observe that the earliest language of Mesopotamian Sumerian has a word of rib that also means life. Interesting. All right, I'm going to move on to um, chapter 3 of the Bible. In my next video, I will be reading that, and that's the fall of man. So... I will read that to you in just a moment. Love you, Josh.